Okay. So what we have here is we have a 2012 Chevrolet Cruze, which is throwing a 0299 overboost code. Underboost, actually. Now, for a while, this car was throwing a misfire code, and I was thinking the culprit was going to be the spark plugs, but then now apparently the misfire code cleared up, and now the culprit is a 0299. I looked on the forums. I went to O'Reilly. Everybody's recommending a turbocharger replacement. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to troubleshoot here and see what we can do in lieu of. So first and foremost, we're going to do a visual inspection. And right off the bat, I do see a potential problem area. Now, in a lot of the videos that I watched, they talk about the wastegate actuator being one of the problems. Now the wastegate actuator is right here. Now the function of this is that this is actually, I'm not sure if it's a vacuum driven servo or if it's an electric driven servo. I think it's a vacuum driven servo since there's a vacuum line here. And this servo actuates this rod which functions the wastegate that's inside the turbo on the exhaust, exhaust port manifold side. Now this turbo here on the exhaust port manifold side um, also hose the, houses the O2 sensor. And the O2 sensor is also throwing a code. But I talked to Bosch about the O2 sensor and they say that the code that the O2 sensor will throw is kind of like a tertiary code. Or it's something that will be thrown when something else is occurring upstream. So I do think that this is the culprit right here. Now, just from a visual inspection, I can see that there's a lot of oil on these lines where there otherwise shouldn't be, which indicates that there might be some type of a leak. So that's gonna be my point where I'm gonna go and uh, investigate. Okay, so my plan of attack here is that I'm gonna take it slow methodically and really try to figure out what's going on with the issue here. Now, because I've never dealt with the turbo before. I'm not really knowledgeable about turbos. I grew up kind of like in the small block Chevy days. I kind of always stayed away from turbos because I considered them a little bit of a dark art. But, you know, I do have some familiarity with them due to uh, industrial education design and the fact that turbos are so widely used in non-car applications. So I do feel like I have a pretty good working understanding of the fundamentals, but I don't feel like I have enough of an understanding to where I can just take one apart and put it back together with the reasonable expectation that it's gonna come back together properly. So that being said, my plan of attack is that I am going to undo my air hose right here and I'm gonna clean these lines off. I'm gonna reset the code, reset the computer by disconnecting the battery and then I'm gonna drive it for a few days and see what happens. All right, I'm gonna go and get started. All right, so right off the bat, I've removed this piece and we already see some action. Now, there's oil in the intake, uh, the air intake leading into it looks like this is going to be the uh, intake side of the turbo. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure how oil is getting into here, because this should just be all air, unless it's being introduced through here somewhere. But it looks like it's pretty dirty here. So whatever's going on, it's going on in this area right here. So, as far as I know, this didn't take too long to diagnose, but as far as I know, this is a PVC system. This is vacuum side of the line. I don't think there should be oil or any fluid in here, but we have oil dripping out right there, and we have oil on the intake plenum side of it. I think plenum's a good word for it, I'm not sure. So, if we have oil being introduced in areas where oil isn't supposed to be, that would point to me as some type of a catastrophic failure. 
However, I do know that the oil has to be introduced into the turbo at some point, but I think that's downstream between the impeller housing. So it seems to me that the impellers might have gone out. Okay, I'm not sure if that was recording or not, so I'll just go ahead and start again. So we have oil in the intake pipe right there. If you see right there, well, I'm not going to point, I'll just move the camera here. If you see right there, that is where the air intake is, right there. This is the air intake pipe. That's the intake to the turbo. Now I've removed the hose right there and we have oil coming out where oil shouldn't be. So let me go ahead and move the camera around so we can do some forensics here and really give you guys an idea of what we're dealing with here. All right. So we have oil In here, we have oil in this uh, tube right here, which I believe is a PCV valve, PVC, PCV. We have oil here inside the intake. And then we have general a mess right down here. I think this is an oil line. Now, the two points of interest are we have two rubber hoses right here that seem to be... They actually seem to be relatively dry, but I think I'm going to replace them anyway. So my plan is I'm going to replace these two hoses and I'm going to replace this part right here. And I'm going to see if there's a replacement for this part. And I'm going to replace this oil feed line right here. And then clean everything up and see how that works. Now my inclination is that this may be a turbo failure. However, if there was a true turbo failure, I think there would be a lot more oil all over the place. So I'm thinking this may just be a leak in the line. So we'll see. Okay, buddy. Right off the bat, I think I found the issue. Not sure how well you can see here but there is a split in this line. And my first indication was that I was able to easily pull it off. So, as you can see, the clamp is still on it. The clamp's there, but it wasn't sticking. This right here was right over, it was here. See how I could just slide it on and off? I don't know if you can see that or not. Probably not. Let me adjust the camera. So, as you can see, the clamp is still on. And I'm able to slide it on and off. That might be it. Okay. That did not take care of the problem either.